Hey, Louis. Yeah, Avi. Uh, we got another question. Yeah, good. Uh, this one was submitted anonymously. That's fine. That's okay. And yeah, they wrote and they asked, uh, well, I'll, I'll just tell you that they said that they've been stress eating since the pandemic started. Yeah. And that, you know, they want to lose some weight and they want to try to stop, but they're worried that they're just going to see more depression there in the absence of that comfort. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Thank you out there. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, the old comforts aren't working in the same way right now. And we know they might not get us all the way through the winter. So I admire your effort and desire. What you might anticipate is if you eat less is hunger. And what hunger can do is plug us back in to our own deeper longings. Yeah. Well, that's antithetical to depression. I mean, is it lonely? It can be. Is it sad? You betcha. But it's not depressed. There's a liveliness to longing. And it can lead to both creativity and a return to self. And, you know, I was walking in the park lately. Yeah. And I saw one of these trees. I don't know which species, but it had this late November bud, early December, you know, before it frosts. Yeah, I know those. I admire those. And I think they've got a cue for us. You know, right now we can plant the seeds before we freeze over of what will yet blossom. Love ya. Oh, also, I think I gotta give up my late night shopping habit. Your late night shopping habit? Yeah, I've been buying expensive deodorants, collecting them. But if you had met me in person, you would know I smell incredible. <laughs>